Hi, and welcome to my Math Minute, or in this case, Math 3 Minutes. Um, I so appreciate you taking even this short amount of time to join me because I know that you have a million things on your plate in your 20 million directions, and I just want to offer a little bit of food for thought, try to support you in some small, some small way, um, because the work you're doing is so important and so hard. First of all, I just want to say I'm thinking of you um, more than ever with my kids at home, just seeing the work of teachers um, across a computer or a phone is just so inspiring. And um, I appreciate you even trying. It's amazing. Thank you. Um, I quickly want to mention what resources are available. So kipdcmath.com is now parent-facing, not teacher-facing. If you want the regular links and calendar for teachers, it's here. Otherwise, parents click here. And what they see is something like this. Um, there used to be videos um, to go with the packets, so each page of the packet has a video, and that's a video for kids or parents to watch before they do the worksheet. So that's still there, but now we have the videos for our kind of gap time in between when we get our next packet, which is a daily problem of the day. So anything, anyway, everything is all there, and please check it out. The last thing I just want to think about as Food for Thought today is to really frame for yourself whether you're doing GP or IP. And this can be on the phone, via text message, or via Zoom or whatever else. The technology doesn't matter. Um, what matters is how you're kind of framing it for yourself and for the child. Are you doing GP in the sense that like you don't expect it to be done? You don't expect them to come with it all ready to go. You're really walking them through it even on the phone, to say, hey, I'm just going to play some music for us, and I want you to do problem number one, and tell me when you've got it, and then we'll talk about what you wrote down, and you can talk me through it, versus I expect you to have it all done, and now I'm giving you the feedback at the end kind of thing, right? And I think what I'm hearing is a lot of people are going in this direction and feeling a lot more comfortable. It doesn't matter to me what you do. I certainly don't want to put pressure on you because um, you're working so hard already, but just to kind of make that distinction in your mind, right? I certainly set it up like an IP, like, hey, do this whole packet, and then send me a text message of your work at the end, but that might not be how it's working out for you. If you have a student who isn't um, necessarily being set up to work on their work before they talk to you, or is really struggling, then it might be more like this, and I've heard of teachers doing big group, FaceTime hangout like GPs, where it's like, hey, everybody, let's all do problem number one, and almost as if they're sitting on the carpet with whiteboards. Um, so just some food for thought. Once again, thank you so much for the work you're doing, and get in touch. If there's anything that I can do to be helpful, please, I really want to be an asset to you.